This is our Christmas Eve service, blessed people. Hii ni ibada yetu ya jioni ya Krismasi. In a very powerful time in the history of the earth. Na ni wakati wa nguvu kabisa katika historia ya dunia. The born king. Mfalme aliyezaliwa. He was born a king. Alizaliwa akiwa mfalme. Very powerful. Yeye nguvu kabisa. And then Halafu. He is now coming back. Yeye sasa anarudi. And so if we are going to honor Christmas, hivi basi iwapo tunaenda kuheshimu Christmas, then we have to honor the purpose for which he came. Hivi basi lazima tupate kuheshimu sababu ambayo alikuja. He came that the church may enter heaven. Alikuja ili kwamba kanisa lipate kuingia mbinguni. He came that you may be able to attain the righteousness and the holiness of God and enter the kingdom of God. Alikuja ili kwamba mpate kuupata uhaki na utakatifu wa Mungu na mpate kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. So if you want to understand the meaning of Christmas. Hivyo iwapo unataka kuelewa maana ya Christmas, then you have to focus on the purpose, the mission as to why he came. Basi lazima upate kulenga kwa lile kusudi, misheni ya kwa nini alikuja. That means at this time of Christmas we need to focus on the calvary cross hiyo inamaanisha kwamba katika wakati huu wa christmas tuahitaji kulenga katika msalaba wa calvary that we may be able to understand ili tupate kuelewa again at this time of christmas katika wakati huu wa christmas we need to focus on the calvary cross tunahitaji kulenga kwa msalaba wa calvary that we may be able to honor the purpose for which he came he shared his glory and came ili kwamba tupate kuheshimu ile kusudi ya kwa nini alikuja alimwaga utukufu wake akaja and he came that he may reconcile mankind with god almighty na alikuja ili kwamba apate kuwapatanisha wanadamu na Mungu mkuu mwenyezi our lord jesus came that one day you may enter the kingdom of god bwana wetu yesu alikuja ili kwamba siku moja mpate kuingia katika falme wa Mungu that's why this is such a time when now we should be focusing on preparing the way for the coming of the messiah to celebrate christmas with understanding why he came ndio sababu huu ni wakati mkuu kabisa ambapo tuwapaswa kulenga katika kuja kwa masia tukisherehekea christmas na kusudi kwa nini alikuja and when you look at the consequences of sin na ukiangalia madhara ya dhambi then you stay away from sin basi unakaa mbali kabisa na dhambi that god would come all the way from heaven and come and die for you because of sin ya kwamba mungu alikuja kote kote toka mbinguni na kuja kufa kwa ajili yenu kwa sababu ya dhambi and that should cause you to understand that at christmas time is a vivid reminder of the consequences of sin basi hiyo ya paswa kwa kusababisha mwelewe ya kwamba katika wakati wa christmas ni ile kumbukisho kubwa kabisa kuhusiana na madhara ya dhambi that if sin can bring god himself and become human ya kwamba ikiwa dhambi inaweza in human form ya kwamba ikiwa dhambi inaweza kumleta mungu mwenyewe na mungu akapafanyika katika umbo la kimidadamu to come and die for you on the cross na aje afe kwa ajili yenu msalabani then we should avoid sin basi tupaswa kuepukana na dhambi And so those who want to receive the Lord I want to lead you to the Lord right now. Hivyo basi wale ambao mnataka kumpokea Bwana nataka kuongoza kwa Bwana sasa hivi. Say mighty Lord Jesus. Sema Bwana Yesu mkuu. I really appreciate that you came all the way from heaven to redeem me. Ninakushukuru sana ya kwamba ulikuja kote kote toka mbinguni ili kunikomboa mimi. And tonight I receive you my Lord Jesus. Na usiku wa leo ninakupokea wewe Bwana wangu Yesu. Come into my heart and be my Lord. Upate kuingia katika moyo wangu na uwe Bwana wangu. My personal savior. Na mwokozi wangu wa kibinafsi. Please set me free from all sin. Tafadhali uniweke huru kabisa toka kwa dhambi zote. The very purpose as to why you came. Kusudi kuu ya kwa nini wewe ulikuja. And help me my Lord Jesus. Na unisaidie bwana wangu Yesu. To walk in righteousness. Kutembea katika uhaki. And holiness. Na utakatifu. And Lord use this time. Na bwana tumie wakati huu to cause me to understand the consequences of sin. Unisababishe kuelewa madhara ya dhambi. As to how sin can make you leave heaven where you are forever with the Father. Kusiana na jinsi ambavyo dhambi ilikufanya wewe upate kuondoka mbinguni mahali ambapo wewe uko milele pamoja na baba. Come all the way to seek me a lost sheep. Ili uje kote kote kunitafuta mimi kondoo aliyepotea. And save me. Na kuniokoa mimi and redeem me na kunikomboa mimi and then prepare me for your glorious kingdom halafu uniandae mimi kwa ajili ya ufalme wako wa utukufu i thank you my lord jesus ninakushukuru bwana wangu yesu in the mighty name of jesus katika jina kula yesu tonight i'm born again usiku wa leo nimeokoka amen amina